Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I've got the latest and greatest radio from Baofang, the NA-K6. Is it clean? Let's go find out. All right, the moment you have all been waiting for, it is Tiny SA time. We're gonna figure out how clean this radio is that I just dropped in the dirt. This is a nice little 3D printed case that I have for my Tiny SA Ultra. There is one for the regular Tiny SA as well. And I need my attenuator. I need to use the attenuator so that you don't put too much power into the front end of your Tiny SA. That would not be a good day for you. Radio in. Dark mode on. Let's zoom in on the screen. Hi, everybody. Right, let's do some configuration here. Let's do measure harmonics of 146.52 megahertz. And let's do full span. And let's do display draw line at minus 16.02. That's our pass fail line. There we go. Let's account for our external attenuator by doing level external gain of minus 40. And then when we key down, these numbers here should start to make a little bit of sense after a minute. Yeah, she is not looking good at all. That's plenty of time for it to have calmed itself down. Not good. Let's change over to 446. All right, let's do the same thing. There we go, now it's starting to show up. It does take a while for this thing to sort itself out and figure out what it's doing. All right, so all of our harmonics are below the line on 70 centimeter, not bad. This radio is a tri-bander. We'll just cut right to the chase here on the tri-band configuration. This is 1.25 centimeters, 223.500. And the test is finishing up and it is pretty clean on this frequency. So that number two chevron is beneath the blue line. And the number one is our frequency of interest. Good to go. We got all scientifical on that. It looks like it is clean on 1.25 centimeters, but not on two meters. Very strange. In order to figure all this stuff out, I used a tiny SA and I used a 40 dB attenuator so I didn't blow up my tiny SA. And then to keep my tiny SA safe, I had it in a tiny SA case that is available on Etsy. There are links in the description for that. This was the Baofeng NAK6. This is the latest and greatest radio from Baofeng, and this is the best they've got to offer after a decade of experience on the market and knowing what hams want. You be the judge of what that means right there. If you're interested in that radio, there is also a link in the description down below for that. This radio programs a little bit differently than the typical Baofeng series radios do, so I'll have a video on that coming out you might be interested in. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.